In the series of learning programming in C, we are discussing strings in C. We, are dis we have discussed some theory about string like what is a string, scan if, get is, print if, put is, uh, these points about string, right? And also a program, simple program, how to read a string and how to print a string, right? Now in this video, we will talk about what, how to find out length of a string using predefined function. Predefined function is what? STRLEN to find out length of a string. Predefined the name C predefined means it's already defined, defined. The meaning of this is already defined, right? Where it is in a header file which is string dot h header file. String dot h. So if you want to use any predefined function regarding string, we have to include which header file? String dot h. See in a program we include stdio dot h, right? Why so? Because there we have you know uh, declared which uh, function printf scanf and we are using those function in our program so that is why we are including stio.h before uh, in our program so if you, you want to use these kind of function predefined function of string you have to include which header file string.h in your program so we'll use this predefined function as well as you will find out length of a string without using this uh, predefined function we will write down our own logic right see suppose i am taking this string I am taking this string j and t so and uh, obviously at last in the string we must have what a null character this is what end of string so this is string we have now length of this string is what 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 characters we have that is length it means how many characters you have in the string here length means we are not including this null character it is not part of string it is you can say it indicates end of string right so String length str alien will find length of the string excluding what null character because it is not uh, you know uh, uh, length of a string it is not string it is end of string. So here it should return 7 right this is length of string. So first of all we will write how obviously you include what one more header file that is string dot h because that function whatever we are using strlen that is declared in this header file right so now first of all we will read a string so first of all declare a string suppose uh, uh, care name and length here i am specifying 30 right and see whenever you run the program it should ask enter name and i'm getting i'm not using scanf i'm using uh, get s get s name right now find out length of the string see how to use that function strlen this is the function and the parameter we pass means it accept what the string or you can say pointer to the string or here simply you will write what this name of the string name of the string is name only name just pass name it is also pointer right why so because name is containing what it's containing suppose address is thousand address would be in you know in hexadecimal form i'm just uh, you know taking it uh, for a simplicity purpose so 0 1 thousand and 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 5 6 something like this and uh, we are having how space for 30 characters so beyond this also we have till 1029 but we are, we are we are only going to store jnt that's it so this is end of string and the complete is till uh, 30 character that is character array so in name we have base address or you can say the address of the first byte that is thousand so obviously name is acting as a pointer right so here it accept this function except what how how they have you know written this predefined this uh, how they have defined this function or you can say that prototype of this function is what the name of the function here strlen here it is accepting what care uh, sorry uh, pointer pointer to string string is what the name of the string and obviously name is what pointer that is why here i am passing only name and what it will return integer value or more specifically more precisely if i say then unsigned into value it return unsigned into value why unsigned obviously length of the string cannot be negative number 
length would always be positive number right so that is why it is unsigned int so the return type of this is or you can say uh, the data type of this strln function is what unsigned int right or uh, maybe somewhere it is written like uh, size underscore t that is nothing but unsigned int right so this is you can see a prototype of this function and here they have written the logic for strln and this is already you know defined and whatever the meaning that is written in string dot h so we don't have to bother about the code of this strln function because it is already written in string dot h right and we are including this file so compiler will automatically refer to this header file to find out the meaning of strln and will simply just return the whatever the length of the string right so we don't have to take care about this uh, definition of this uh, strln so we'll pass the name of the string and it will return unsigned int value right and that value we are going to store in an suppose uh, integer variable suppose i am taking integer variable count here i am going to store so first of all we have to declare this thing here right so i am declaring int count or you can declare here here unsigned int more precisely unsigned int and i am going to uh, initialize it with zero so whatever the string length it would be in count and simply now you can print print f and you can write string length is here what you will use per, uh, the specifier percentage s or d obviously percentage d because we are uh, you know printing length length is what integer percentage d and count and that's it you will get the output count if you are entering string jnt you will get 7 if you are entering jnt like this yes it can take this input because we are using get s so now the length would be 14 space is also you can say uh, would be counted in length of the string so 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 14 excluding null character so i think if you use uh, predefined function that is very simple to find out length of the string nothing is there right but second variant is if you don't use this strln function then we have to write down our own logic so we are not using this function means you have to count the number of characters in the string right so till what till you find you find uh, that uh, null character until you find null character you have to count you have to count number of character in the string that's it so character by character means count is zero once we find first character j then count should be one then if we you know then next traverse this a then count should be plus one next plus one plus one plus one till you find null character right so we are increasing this count or you can see we are traversing this string till here so we are using obviously we have to use for loop uh, sorry loop either for while or do while it's up to you you can use any loop so here i'm using the condition is while while name is what name of the string is name and now i am accessing individual character so name of i i am providing index also index 0 then we will switch to first index then second then third then fourth fifth and sixth and then seventh right if name of i not equal to null see null is character so i am providing in single quote while name of i not equal to null till then we will count we will do count plus plus we will increase the count count plus plus right and obviously we are taking i so i is for for the index so index is also first zero then one then two it is also increasing so we have to do i plus plus also obviously name of zero then first then second then third like this and that's it and after this while loop you can print print f percentage d and count and before using i we have to declare this i here int is int i right so see now the working of this let's try run this suppose i am entering it's asking enter name i am entering jnt only right gets name 
Jayanti has been stored. Now, while name of I. Now, I is what? First, I is what? We are initializing I first, zero. See, while loop, the syntax of using while loop is what? Initialization. Then in while loop, we, we write condition. Then within this while loop, we are using increment and decrement. Three parts are there in loops. In for loop, all the three parts are within at the same uh, you know location at the same place but here three different places so i is 0 c here we have count and i 0 0 at starting name of 0 access name of 0 name we are providing the you know that what uh, address so name of 0 is what this one j is j equal to null character no okay its condition is true because it's not equal we enter here count plus plus count becomes one i plus plus i becomes one now i becomes one again check here name of now i is one name of i name of one one this one is this null character no count plus plus i plus plus again i plus plus now i is two name of two is y is null character no condition true count plus plus i plus plus now name of 3, index is 3, it is also not null character, count plus plus, i plus plus. Now name of fourth index, not null character, again enter in this loop, count plus plus, i plus plus. Now name of 5, not equal to null character, yes, true, enter into this, count plus plus, i plus plus. Now name of 6, yes, condition true, count plus plus, i plus plus. Now, 7 name of 7 now see name of at the 7th index yes it is null character so the condition is not true right so that is why we are not going to enter into this loop exit from the loop and whatever the statement you have written outside of the loop, this loop you know just after this loop that will be printed so here I am printing percentage d count count value is 7 so 7 would be printed and the length is 7 only and if you store Jayanti space Khatri, then at 7th position we are having space. So, space is also not null character. Sky value of space is no not equal to sky value of this null character. Sky value of null character is 0. Sky value of space is something different. So, that is not true. Right. So, again enter here count plus plus count becomes 8. So, till 14 it will print till Khatri i. After that it will stop. So, I hope you got both the logics. Right. Now let me show you th this thing on my laptop. So now let me create one file for you and I am taking name string length string length dot c right header file and also will include what string dot h this header file because we will use it should be string dot h right int main and here what first of all we are taking a string suppose I am taking name uh, name of the string is name and length is 30 right and int count one variable as well as i is equal to 0 2 we are taking right and here I am asking enter name, we will take input using get s. So here just pass the name of the string that is name that is it. Now let me just uh, use that function first, strlen and here what it will accept pointer to the string and pointer is obviously name is name of the string is also it is an internal pointer it acts as a constant pointer to the string passing name and uh, that is it and just we are printing length of the string length of the string is no, sorry percentage d and uh, count right and if you want to print string then you can use put s and name so it will print string also and the length of the string also now let me run this program 
it should ask first uh, enter name right and uh, see it is asking enter name i'm just providing jayanti khatri space khatri so see it is first of all printing the string and the length of the string is 14 right in the next line we are not using any slash and but still it is giving output in the next line length of the string because put s we are using put s it will automatically you know add a new line at the end of the output right next output would be in the next line so i hope you got string length or more specifically if you want you can specify it int not int count unsigned int because obviously we know uh, that uh, data type of this strl int function is what unsigned int it will always return positive value no 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 negative value so now we will see we will not use this strlen and now we use our own logic so here i am writing while loop while name of i sorry name of i not equal to what null character right till then we will do count plus plus and we also increase index i plus plus and after complete, uh, completion of this while loop we will uh, just print length of the string length of the string is c out and we are also you printing a name like uh, the uh, string also so i think that's it let me just run this for you and see it is asking enter name jayanti khatri and see it is first of all printing jayanti and the length of the string is 14 so without using a predefined function also you can write down your own logic right so in this case if you are not using strlen no need to include this string dot h header file you can remove this right so now the next video uh, we'll so see that's it for more predefined now. function and we'll see the program also now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care